Wilshire Boulevard, I only know insofar as I go to the museums that are located along its stretch. There used to be a bakery called Brown's Bakery near the El Rey. That bakery is long gone, uh, but other than that, uh, I don't do much with Wilshire. Mm -hmm. I don't like going too much west of Vermont Avenue, uh, but what with the Wilshire, with the ambassador, I used to teach blind and partially sighted children, and I had all the grade levels, including a senior student who was graduating. Her name was Ruth Rodriguez, and she adored a singing group called The Association, which was very popular in the 1960s. And as a graduation present to her, I realized the uh, Ambassador Hotel at the Coconut Grove was going to feature the association. So I called and found out who the manager at the time was, a man named Mr. Uno. I have no idea how to spell it. Uh, that's what I called him, Mr. Uno. And he gave permission for me to bring her and a few of the older students to the Coconut Grove. So that was the beginning of four very specific uh, events that took place at the Ambassador. Uh, stretching out, I'd say, from maybe 65, 66, maybe early 70s. I don't even remember. But uh, it was quite thrilling to be able to take her, in particular. Uh, he served the uh, students Shirley Temples, a non-alcoholic drink. That's what they were called. I have no idea what went into them. And we went backstage, and she could talk. I mean, you, you know this teenage adoration of a group. She wanted to be a singer, and I wanted her to get to know people in the field who are really doing it, and took her also to a radio station in Pasadena. I don't even remember the call letters. But she, again, met people who encouraged her to do her thing. She graduated, I really don't, I've lost touch with her. So that was the first. The second, I think, was Rowan and Martin. They had not yet hit the television series. If you remember them, or you're too young. <laughs> I don't you don't know them. I don't remember them. Okay, well, Rowan and Martin, these were comedians. And the third was Marvin Gaye. And again, each time we went backstage, and for me the most significant was Ella Fitzgerald. Because she, that particular performance, was clearly very tired. And here we were, and the student, she had obviously serious vision problems herself. And when she recognized that these were blind students, she, you know, it's like, all right, come. And so she was able to talk with them. And the graciousness. Uh, the, now, these are the, the elements I remember. And as I told you, there's not much more beyond that. <laughs> but that was my experience with the Coconut Grove.